the frame. All right. Uh, okay, go ahead. You know, what about the, the going with the WARM? My, when you guys had to learn a new song, my father would go get the record. <laughs> and I still remember the, the one song was uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, Go Down to the River. What's that? Is that the name of the song? Mike Sparazza was singing. And Shattered from... Oh, yeah. The Stones. the Stones. For the Rolling Stones, yeah. yes, yes. Well, I remember when my dad owned a bar, it was called the Red Lantern. He had it for two years, and I remember my dad bringing home the little papers that you would put, you would fill out this like little cardboard and slip it in behind the glass in the jukebox. Kind of like what we have over here. Yeah, and my father would bring home all these 45s. I remember the stack of 45s. And they'd be things like Led Zeppelin and uh, the Shocking Blue and all the things that were popular and, and um, pretty great music. And that added to the great musical education that I got. And that's something I remember distinctively. Over the Hills and Far Away was one of the, the songs that was, uh, that was uh, going into the jukebox that my father was uh, getting. So I always got that great musical education from my dad. Yeah, now, like with your new band, uh, or old band, whatever it is, yeah. you guys, I like your Tom Petty stuff. Mm -hmm. That's, really That's something that seems to be, uh, it suits us well. And we're one of the few bands that actually does the harmonica on uh, some of the Tom Petty. My, uh, one of the guys in the band, my, my best friend Rick, he said he went to see a Tom Petty tribute band. They did one of the songs that we do, and they didn't use the harmonica in it. And he was really surprised. Okay. He was very surprised. Um, so that's something that we, you know, I'm glad that we have harmonica is something different, like, like Mike Sparazza played with, with Side Street. Right. And, um, you know, it's something I think adds another dimension to bands, and I'm glad that we have that. And Rick is really, really good. He practices, and he's really, really smooth with it. So it's, it's nice uh, to be able to have that extra dimension in our band with so, that. What's your future plans? You're, are you grandfather yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's not married yet. She's just engaged. Well, okay. We're, we're, yeah, she's 24, my daughter. And yeah. She's an elementary teacher like my mom. She doesn't have a, she's a substitute right now, a permanent sub. So hopefully she gets a job in the next few years. Now, you, you were in the Navy. Yes. You were a submarine guy. Yes. And I was at submarine school up in Rotten Groton, Connecticut. Right. And, uh, well, the guys, I was just in the Navy only uh, two months at that point, And they said, your father never played with the Celtics. And then one, one of the guys I was with said, no, his, my father told me his father did play with the Celtics because he used to work security there. So... He was able to vouch for me that my dad actually played for the Celtics. And then when we graduated in February, his father came up and my mom and dad came up to see me graduate. And they actually got to see each other after like 30 years wow. since uh, he quit playing. Actually, it was 20 years. So when do you plan to retire? December. This year? This year. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. My younger brother is planning on retiring. How about that? <laughs> I, had a, I had enough time there. <laughs> 40 oh, so years. How about, how about you? You're doing what kind of nursing now? I'm a medical surgical float nurse up at Geisinger CMC in Scranton. Oh, okay. So I go to all the medical surgical floors yeah. as a float. I work 7P to 7A, um, uh, doing nursing 30 years this month. Michael? I like to do nursing. I do home health nursing uh, for Golden Care Home Health. So I, that's why you're eyeing me up. Saying, okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'd like to do that for hopefully six more years and retire at 68. And um, in the meantime, I like to photograph, write songs, play in the band, and uh, continue doing my uh, passions. Um, maybe get married next couple of years we'll see and um, that's what's happening right now you guys have any last thoughts final thoughts about anything you'd like to share with anybody maybe watching that uh, would like to know something more about your father and your mother or you guys 
Just that, um, it's my dad every day. I wish he was around. I have so many questions that I would love to ask him. My dad was great at knowing knowledge, sharing scientific, kinesiology, um, so many different things that he just knew so much about a lot of different areas. And it was always interesting to hear his stories. He didn't like talking about the past, but once you got him talking about the past, he spoke very fondly of the past and remembering people's names, coaches, teachers, players. And uh, it was always just wonderful to hear him talk passionately about his past. Marlene? I miss my mom and dad every single day. I was very blessed. I had a wonderful life with them and I know they're always with us. And I will never forget them. And it's just so nice how people just loved my parents. They were mm -hmm. really wonderful. By the way, every once in a while, when I'm up by by uh, Rock Street, uh, up the warehouse in Duryea, mm -hmm. you have to I pass by the sign. I, I come down the hill. I go, "Hey, Lenny!" And then I stop for a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were the best. I was. We were lucky. Yeah, it makes me feel good. David, what are you gonna say? Mm. Nothing. Nothing that wasn't already said. <laughs> uh, well. I just appreciate you guys coming up. It's it's really just a wonderful event to uh, uh, be hanging with everybody here, and uh, maybe we'll have a cocktail after this is done. Uh, and uh, but this sign, when you come into Duryea, it says it all. And not even a cement truck can kill your father's memory. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right, right. It's a great sign, and and it's a better third sign that they yeah, put up. And it's pretty far back. So if somebody's <laughs> going to knock it over, they're going to go down the embankment with it. <laughs> I yes. That. Yeah. Thank you for this opportunity, Jody. Yes, this is Jody always is great, great talking about our, our parents and uh, just the, the great stuff that we were blessed. Thank you for uh, loving my dad as much as you do and well, my you, mom. You took care of me and your mom did too. We know that. Well, I think she looked at me with that bowling pin too. Yep. <laughs> Mm -hmm. but she was kind and sweet oh yeah. absolutely my mom was the well, sweetest yes yeah. your mother was kind and sweet too uh -huh. yeah. no we were very lucky yep very lucky i think we're all lucky and i'm so lucky to have you guys come up and and uh and sit for a spell so again everybody check out uh i'll be doing a posting on facebook to uh after i'm all done uh to make sure that uh you don't miss the uh the stories coming around uh your father and mother and Michael's band and, and your retirement in December. <laughs> yeah, me. I'm hoping till I'm 62, maybe. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see. So, um, we have Jody Bush's Community House, and if you're really good kids, thanks for watching.